Hey guys, it is Erica from Try by Fire Ministry. I have a quick encouraging word for you guys today. Um, I want to share some a dream that I had two days ago with you guys and I, I pray that this blesses someone, um, this helps someone. I know it helped me when God showed me this. Uh, you know, we think about discernment and a lot of people say, well, I know this spirit's on this person, that person, and well, this one's got that and that. You know, discernment not only means that you know things about people, but God, having true discernment, God will show you the things in you. Um, you know, when we say search our, search our heart, oh God, and show us, you know, he'll shine a light on the darkness that's in you. Sometimes the things that's deep that you don't even know that that's there you know it could be unforgiveness it could be anxiety depression uh rejection um unbelief uh, things like that and, and god will shine a light on that uh, that's when he what he means by um darkness cannot stay in light uh, having true discernment um is not just like i said not just knowing things about other people, but also yourself. But this dream I had, um, it was two days ago, and I was in my house in this dream, and this man walks in, and he had a ponytail, and I looked beside in his hand, kind of down by his side, and he had like a little teeny knife, like a switchblade. And I knew that he had came in, he was a thief, that had come in my home, he just walked in my home. And you know, that's what happens a lot, isn't it, guys? The enemy will come in any way he can. Um, you know, our feelings, that's a major part that he comes in is how we feel, um, you know, sadness, um, you know, depression, our family. Anyway, he'll come in. Sometimes our dreams, uh, we need help with that too and deliverance sometimes from that. But he had came in and he had a ponytail in his hair and I said, oh, I like your hair. And I knew that in the dream I was trying to be nice to him. And I looked and turned around and there were more people coming in, more thieves. And I walked down the hallway and I went to get the phone and I was going to call the police. And when I picked up the phone to call the police, I did not know my address. I had forgotten my address. And I remember going in my room and digging through all these papers. And I guess I was looking for bills or something to find something with my address on it. And I couldn't call the police. I couldn't get in there because I had forgotten my address. And I went into the kitchen and one of the thieves is in there was a lady and she had had my phone. And I was begging her and I was trying to be nice. Please give me my phone back, please. And I woke up. And as I was waking up, I knew what God had said. He said, remember who you are. Isn't that a word for today, guys? Remember who we are. When the devil comes in, he comes knocking on our door. When he walks right in, the thief walks right in through whatever way, sickness, um, you know, diseases, um, depression, anxiety, our family, unbelief, um, rejection, any way he can get in, self-doubt. If, if he can, he'll walk right in. But we have the power and the authority. God has given us the power and the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, to bind those powers up and to send them back, send them to the abyss, send them back to hell. Hallelujah. And I just want to encourage you today. You know, they may come at you with intimidation, with a little knife. Oh, but I have a sword that's bigger. Hallelujah. We all have a sword that's bigger, the Word of God. And I want to encourage you that God said, that no weapon formed shall prosper. He didn't say that the weapon wouldn't be formed. He just said, no weapon formed shall prosper. Speak his word out every day, guys. Remember who you are. Remember, in Jesus' name. I'll talk to you soon, guys. I love you guys. God loves you. Be encouraged.